myself phc vankesh from first year forensic science of rashtriya raksha university gujarat and also the member of alpha forensic organization and he is my favorite person just from both fingerprints from file animation cases and perfectly versed items by new technology for recover latent fingerprint technology uh venkatesh can you be a bit more louder we are not able to hear you properly yes ma'am Yes. Yes. Your voice is coming in the low pitch, so you can speak loudly. Okay. And here is a small introduction about the fingerprints. You all know very well that fingerprints are the impressions left on surfaces by friction loses from human fingers. Those are unique, difficult to alter, and durable over the life of an individual. And the fingerprint identification, also known as dactyloscopy, is a handprint identification. So, comparing of friction loops reduced from the fingers or sole of the foot to determine the impression. Yeah, Vankatesh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, you need to be a little uh, high with your pitch because your voice is not audible, and that's a request from the jury members as well. Okay. Speak loudly. now the fingerprint patterns such as the print into print when lift on a paper the friction loses are clearly visible now commonly these finger pat which patterns are divided into three types loops holes and arches as we know very well and loops are uh, two types radial loops and alar loops these are approximately 60% of pattern and holes are plain and spiral accidental centric pocket these are 35% and we can see here the arches plain arches and tendered arches are two types these are about of 5% and my first topic is about fingerprint from fired ammunition casings the act of manually loading ammunition into gun chamber may leave fingerprint that can be easily recovered as you can see here on the figure when we can with the bare hands we can we can isolate the fingerprints from here but after firing The extreme blast temperature and gases flow back the ammunition, where the biological residues and fingerprint will completely remain. But with this technology, the developed technique that we can visualize even after they are completely washed away with this system. Previously, it has a success rate of one less than one percent, but after the this system came into existence, that is increased to greater than four percent. Here we know that. metal surface energy causes minor changes on the fingerprints when those are in the bullet with casing but recover system also exploit these minor changes also to reveal fingerprints from all physical trace has been removed and finally the statement was this discovery gives us the ability to recover fingerprints items that would have previously difficult to alter and this is the system that recover latent fingerprint technology and this is a chemical cleaning process where develop fingerprints from a discharged bullet casings and wash it clean again and you know the pass of the system and this is a motorized lathe and we can operate via touch screen too and it is in 360 degrees we can operate and this is the development chamber you can visible 360 visible and these are two types of chambers where the bullets for and bullets are also suitable for anti fire then take pistol or shotgun also can be put into this chamber and where this is a precursor activation stage where the temperature can be controlled and this is the down part where this is a touch screen we can operate entire uh entire system here and these are the key benefits where we can reveal fingerprints where exposed to extreme temperatures when vehicles also when set on the fire like that and develop fingerprints on metal alloys including uh, knives where which are washed or thrown into rivers or canals or fully rusted and corroded but knives also we can reveal fingerprints from here and develop constant fingerprints across different surfaces simultaneously such as plastic and metal also and this is a simple operational method just for understanding of the the simple method where the evidence is found The evidence is placed in the recover chamber as seen here in the picture, and it can 
two the single shot chemical for develop because we can use an activation plate when the user initiates the recovery of the process after 30 minutes of development the fingerprints can be examined like this as we seen in the brown picture and here we all know very well that iodine tuning process which is a long using method develop latent fingerprints and the iodine crystals give off the vapors called submission and observe oily substance of the fingerprints and gives the brown color where to develop fingerprints on porous surface and non-porous surface. And secondly, super gluing film. This is also known as cyanoacrylate fuming. It's a chemical method. The vapors of the super glue forms the finger, latent fingerprints visible and easy and effective too. And uh, in 2010, the scientist named Paul Bargain also examined that the bullet casing can be found from the soda blue filming. And finally, vacuum metal depolition technique is the most powerful latent fingerprint development technique. These are usually in non porous surfaces and semi surfaces and porous surfaces too. And high quality with excellent contrast than cyanophilic filming, we can see the prints here. These three together will be used according to the firearm or bullet casing used in the recovery technique. And this is a short demo video where we, this will, just a demo video to understand the process. Sorry. Where we can, with a bare hands, we can upload the fingerprints and after firing, in a firing range with the different firearms as you can see here after those are collected for the rapidity purpose and this is a recover chamber and it takes less than one hour the chemical reaction is will happen and this is the DCS4 technique and can, I will explain next this is the fingerprints are clearly visible and these are the fingerprint imaging solution. After a bullet casing, when we develop fingerprints, after we have to take an image of that. So these are the imaging solutions. These are DCS5 fingerprint imaging system, as you see in the picture here. That means digital capture system. It's a comprehensive for the detection of fingerprints in a visible IR camera is there. As you can see here, this is the cam Nikon camera. And when the evidence is placed here, Within camera with the scale adjustment, we can see in the system as seen here. And this is the cylindrical sur surface and drop of technique, which is used along with the DCS file. This is useful for the 3D images where it is converted into 2G, as you can see in the video here, short view to Amazon, which convert 2D image into 3D. We can also find cylindrical surfaces in the print. So it's a very task to the fingerprint photographer. So this will be useful to understand a 2D image in 3D. This is a DCS5 workstation. And with this, so look at some of the technical data used in this. It will look at 360 degrees as seen here. And after each and every reach and minutia also we can see here. And whether the fingerprints are visible like this. This is the picture where the two finger marks are seen from a bullet casing after five. And the next topic is fingerprints from purposely washed clean items. Following a criminal act, every common for the preparator to ward or clean the entire evidences with the crime scene. But if we take the impossible fingerprints on any object, also we can uh, recover. In house test, it has proven that we can develop high quality prints on a variety of surfaces with a wide range, even after washing with a wide range of detergents and chemicals. And here is example one. In household, in the brass or stainless steel plates, when we add fingerprints and wash it with an undiluted or dilute bridge, after frequent with the record technique, we can also see the prints up to seven days. And here is example one, this is the brass plate and where the finger marks are seen. And after treating 24 hours, we can see like this. Up to seven days, we can see like this fingerprints on a brass plate. 
and this is an example two where finger marks can be placed on a knife blade and these are and these are completely washed with some warm water with a common dispersion liquid and after quick time and you can see in a visible illumination like this on a gray scale it's a long wavelength reflected uv illumination you can see in the prints like this and this is a gray scale image of uh, where we can invert it using pcs for workstation so the things are visible like this and the marks are placed on a metal plate like this and this was completely washed with a dispersion liquid under in water and then fold it and this the this the demo process for understanding in later this was treated with a cover chamber placed in the cover chamber for treatment and after treatment the prints are clearly visible as you can see in here Like this. And finally, conclusion: This is an ideal process for the treatment of rich metals like which are extreme heat metals, and rusted or corroded, and submerged or folded or deformed also. Where up to date, sorry, up to date, you have confirmed the recovery relative is an ideal process for the visualization of finger marks. On all all the common metals, and these are capable of delivering the exponential results. And these are the references.